Welcome back, everybody, to the Miami Dolphins franchise and season number five starts here in the preseason. Now, normally the preseason, we kind of just get through it as quickly as possible, but we have some positions up for grabs. So this is why we're at least going to play these two preseason games versus the Giants and probably the Seahawks, so games one and four. Not going to really see the starters that much. Definitely want to see the backups. And the big story coming into this preseason is, is Dalton Steele still holding out refusing to really play until he gets a new contract obviously he isn't on his last year of his deal which he was a third round pick so it's not a whole lot he wants a new contract and we got to see who's going to be you know the the running backs going forward obviously Gus Edwards the leader right now we got veteran Melvin Gordon you got guys like Carlos Covington who you know free agent pickup hidden development maybe he gets a little bit of a shot and see what he's got uh there's plenty of guys here to see can Galvin step up Karan Ali, I'm not sure who's going to be there. And receiver, you got Claiborne or Kirkpatrick, but we got Dillard, Garvin, Roby, Waddle, Bonds. Can any of these guys show us something? That's what you know. I want to see here in this preseason. Like who's going to be our number three, our number four receiver, even number five? Interested in Joe Waddle, another free agent pickup that is a hidden dev, six foot one ninety four at a Kent State, has some decent ability. You know, maybe he steps up and shows something. Maybe Roby, you know, finally steps up, show us something as well. We'll see. And this is why I want to get into the preseason. Um, it's going to be an interesting thing to see what kind of these young guys can really step up because our receivers are definitely super young. Obviously, Kirkpatrick coming into his uh, second year now, uh, Claiborne year number four. And the other really position is back a quarterback. You know, does Hurts continue to win? Does he keep that job? Does Stafford come in? Do we keep all? Do we keep both of them? I'm not really sure. But we're gonna see what we got here in the preseason. So this first game is gonna be against the Giants in the rain. So that doesn't help us one bit. Kind of wish everything was clear because these weather conditions sometimes you just don't see. It just doesn't play out as you want it to. But here we go. Hurts starting. We're just gonna probably flip back and forth between him and Stafford. And really, we're just gonna. Go a little bit quicker through these games than normal as he hits Kasicki. And, you know, I know Hurts can run. I, I'm not really worried about that. I just want to see how, you know, throws under pressure, you know, trying to hit guys in stride. That's what I really want to see as Edwards with the run. I don't think we're going to give him many carries in this preseason. I say he's probably the leader right now, obviously, to start as he gets through. Nice gain up to the 31-yard line for a first down. So it's really... You know, I love to utilize more than one back. That is for sure. So right now with Dalton Steele out, Edwards the starter. Who's going to kind of be that backup guy we go to? Second and 10, pressure coming. And that is going to be a sack taking down as Hurts. And we didn't get anything out of that drive. And that's another, you know, hopefully our offensive line, I think we got a good line. The question is really just going to be like last year, trying to stay healthy. That's what we had issues with at the end of the season. We lost those two games, and uh, you know, I felt like in the playoffs we just didn't have the kind of offensive line. It was a little tough going. As Isaiah Simmons, new free agent pickup, he makes the play. I hope to see that all season. I hope he's all over the place using that speed, making plays, and he makes one there on the defense as we hold the Giants to nothing. As there's a good pass down to Dillard, but he just overthrows him. Had him, just overthrows him, does hurts. And on third and three, underneath trying to find Galvin incomplete as well so not the greatest start so far for Hertz as we move on down 10 nothing and now here comes Matthew Stafford and here comes Melvin Gordon 31 years old veteran running back trying to you know make the team get the job and we'll see what he has is on third and seven Stafford can't get rid of it in time that's gonna be a sack and the Giants here at halftime trying to get uh, a little bit more of a lead. Really don't care about wins or losses, obviously. Just trying to see progression forward. But on first and ten, coming through is one Blackburn draft pick, and he gets the sack. That's what you want to see. You want to see these young guys make plays. That's why we're playing these games right here. Second and 17 once again, and he's going to go down, and Blackburn, I believe that would hit him again. So two sacks in a row for the rookie. That's what you want to see. Big time plays in the preseason. As we move on second quarter here, just before halftime, and that's a great pass from Stafford, and he finds Waddle down the seam. Great catch hanging on in coverage. And with 15 seconds left here in this first half, let's see what Stafford can do in the pocket, looking down the middle of the field. That was a dangerous throw, but Waddle, nice concentration. 
makes the catch and will bring on Sanders for a field goal. So Joe Waddle, the undrafted rookie, looking pretty good as we'll add the field goal, 10-3 going into the second half. You know, I always love seeing these undrafted guys, you know, take advantage of their situations. This is how you make teams. Obviously, in real life, you kind of make it by special teams, but, you know, in Madden terms, it doesn't really matter. I would say special teams, not really all that big of a deal. So you're just hoping to see guys step up, make plays. Because this guy last year, I mean, Courtney Hayward was a first-round pick, and he really played outstanding. But these undrafted guys like Joe Waddle, I want to... So far, I'm impressed, and I'm surprised nobody drafted him as a third and 12. Nasir Adderley goes over, picks this one off, and uh, this is what you want to see from the defense. Sometimes you get into the preseason, gets away from you, but so far, our defense looking pretty good as Stafford stays in the ball game, third and three, and that's going to be Alex Keys for the catch, tight end, and he's got some ability as well. We'll try to run a little bit more two to three tight end sets this year. Obviously, Gronk comes over. And I think we want to get the tight ends a little bit more involved than usual. As Stafford on first to 10, firing. He had Dillard, and he, man, overthrows him incomplete. Dillard's running some good routes. It's just, guys can't get in the ball. As on third and 10, that's going to be over the middle. That's going to be caught. That's going to be first down. And we're up to the 33 yard line. Stafford, not too bad so far. Still missing a few throws. Goes to the outside, and Waddle with the catch. He's making those tough catches. Guys right on him, hanging on to the ball, not making drops, especially in the rain. So that's really good to see. As on third and two, Stafford firing. And man, that was a terrible throw. If you lead Waddle, it's, that's a catch and more. We're going to go for it on fourth down and finds Alex Keys for the catch and a first down. But still, that third down throw, that was really, really bad. So first down, though, at the 20. We're going to hand this one off. Here's Covington up the middle. Carry. So Carlos Covington, the other dra undrafted free agent pickup, trying to make a name for himself, trying to make this team. I would say it's going to be a little tough for him as Melvin Gordon up the middle, and he's in for the touchdown. Those are the tough runs you want to see. I would say Covington, it's going to be a little bit rough for him to make this roster, um, no doubt about it. Because, I, you know, it's going to be Edwards. I would say Melvin Gordon's making the team unless somehow he just – just doesn't run well. But right now you can see he's running really well. As that's a nice pass by Hertz. Caught. And Waddle is looking fantastic. I'm liking what I'm seeing from him. If you remember a few years ago. There was a guy named Laveris Claiborne. Who was a fourth round pick. And we got into the preseason. Oh that's just a bad throw. And he impressed. And look at him now. He's now a starter. Last year over a thousand yards. Excellent season. And this is what Joe Waddle can definitely do in this preseason. And so far in this first game, that's what I'm showing. I'm seeing from him. So that is good to see. As defensively can't make the tackle there. Just trying to see if anybody else defensively kind of steps up. And look at Randall Morgan. Still in this ball game. You know, just he's going to be our you know, number two defensive tackle, nose tackle in the season. And that's showing his speed, athleticism. That was great to see. And on a third down to the outside, that's just going to be thrown away and pressure in his face. So 10-10 ball game down to the wire. We'll bring in Hurts and watch out. Whoa, man. And that's the one thing you also get in these preseason games is when you get to this backup offensive lineman, it's not good. Uh, you know, you just don't get enough time to throw the ball on a third and 18. That's Waddle with the catch. Great pass by Hurts leading him, but I have a feeling this one is going to be coming back. So, man, big play. Does not count at all. That was a good throw uh, by Hertz. So that's that's at least good to see. Third and 25. Uh, yeah, not a whole lot you can really do here. Pressure up the middle and just gets rid of it in time before probably taking a safety. So can the defense hold this Giants offense and you know keep this at a tie? Ball game. That's really good coverage on the outside by Perryman. Another uh, you know draft pick, hidden development. So good to see that. But on third and 14, wide open down the field. But that's going to be incomplete. We'll take that one. Didn't get the two feet down. So back and forth these guys go. And then finally Hurts makes a mistake. That one's going to be picked off. And now the Giants will be down around the four-yard line. Blake Martinez with the interception. And now this Giants offense trying to put it in here with five minutes. Man, that pass from uh, wasn't Hurts. That was not good. Third and goal, though. But our give credit to our defense. 
does the job, gets the stop, and now Stafford's going to come in here to try to at least get this ball game tied. As down the middle, he gets caught. That's Ja Roby with the catch, and he's up to the 50-yard line and a first down. Now, Ja Roby, he's, he's a solid receiver. You know, he's solid. I'm not sure if he's going to really give you a whole lot. As, oh, man, Dillard slipped and fell. But right now, the way... Uh, I would say Waddle's looking, uh, yeah, I think the position might be his. Third and three over the middle, and oh man, just as I'm speaking his name, the jinx happens and he drops the pass. Fourth and three now, Stafford looking, he fires it. This one's going to be incomplete. Blake Martinez showing some great coverage skills there. As now we got to get a defensive stop. Third down and one. And look at Randall Morgan getting through, making the stop on Spillman. And he looks like he, he's dominating these guys. That is good to see. That's what you want to see. At least if there's a guy that's a, you know on the cusp of starting, um, you want to see him dominate these backups. As Stafford is hit, Blake Cashman once again picks this one off. And I'm pretty sure that's going to end uh, this ball game, preseason game number one. So quarterback-wise, eh, not good. Not good at all. Stafford, 822, yeah, it's not good. Melvin Gordon had a few good runs. Nobody else. He had Covington, that one good run. Galvin couldn't do much. Receiver-wise, Joe Waddle. Four catches, 78 yards. He looked good. Had that one called back. Did have that drop on the third down, but still. Saw a lot from him. Dillard just, he was getting, he, he has two drops, but he slipped on the one. Had a couple of other chances. Missed throws. Garvin, not a whole lot. Uh, saw some decent stuff from him. Yeah, Juan Blackburn, the two sacks. Uh, Ray Bryan had himself a sack as well. So up front, that looked pretty good. Uh, so this guy's stepping up. But hopefully we see a little bit more from Stafford or Hurts in this next preseason game. Because, man, that was just rough going. Uh, 8 for 22. Hurts just, you know, very inconsistent. Because that is the that is the real thing. In this day and age in the NFL, you have to have a very good backup quarterback. Even though quarterbacks are definitely protected, there's no doubt about it. But... Just that instance where possibly Tua goes down, you know, I have to trust in the guy that, that, that we can run our offense the same way and it's not going to be any different. And right now, uh, I'm not seeing it from either one of them. Uh, I mean, Hertz has the a little bit more ability in the run, so that gives him a little bit of an edge right now in Stafford. But we'll see as we get into the next preseason game. Preseason game number four before we get all the cuts. As you can see, makes the pass to Gronkowski, who has the catch. And a first down as Hurts starting this first drive out. And here comes Seattle with a big time blitz. But it's going to be over the middle. Nice throw. Finding Dillard. Catch. Picking up 18 yards. And so far, Jalen Hurts in this first drive looking pretty good. First and 10. Goes to the outside. It's, here's Dillard again for another catch. And he's up to around the 14-yard line. And we're down to a second and goal situation from the 10. As Hurts looking up top. Looking for Dillard. And he just can't bring it down. Looking for that big body receiver. He's 6'3". He can go up and get it. Third down and goal as Hurts looking in the pocket. Steps up and fires a nice pass. And that is Garvin for the touchdown. That was nice. Floating it right over the linebacker's head. You know, stepping up in the pocket. That's what you want to see. That was a perfect play. Perfect drive for Hurts. And that was impressive. That's what you want to see from you know, a guy trying to be the backup quarterback. You know, if it comes down to it, no doubt about it, as that's going to be what Carson with the carry just running through our defense. But say at some point if, you know, you don't want to think about it, but if Tua gets hurt for a long period of time and Hurts makes this team and he makes he's like the backup quarterback, we'll definitely, I think, design more of an offense around him. You know, put in some more read options. More from the shotgun, more from the pistol. I think that's what we would do. I don't, you know, I don't want him to just be a drop back passer. We we want to, we would want to utilize what he has, you know, his ability to get outside the pocket, make some plays with his legs. You know, I don't want to take that away. Um, so that's why, you know, right now I'd stay, still say he's the leader as Metcalf. What's up? Oh my! Holy! Wow! There's a flag on the play, but man, that was insane. He was actually out of bounds, so he came back in and touched the ball first. Illegal touching, but DK Metcalf. Oh, whoa. That was an insane grab, and uh, that's going to lead to a field goal for Seattle. So, Seattle back at it. You know, backups in as McLean 
who was uh, one of those dra running backs in the second round, 77 overall. I mean, it was a great draft pick by Seattle as he makes a good run there. But on second and three, getting through for the sack. So stopping the quarterback there and brings up a third and three. See what this defense can do. But up the middle, and there he goes. Touchdown. Not even close. 32 yards for this rookie McLean. And it's something Seattle has always been missing for years. It's just the, the consistent run game. That or they just don't go to it. You know, maybe Russell Wilson, they just don't run the ball enough. I don't know. But, you know, they finally have Carson. But sometimes they're just not healthy enough. I don't know what it is with the Seattle run game. It's very, ever since, you know, Lynch, it just hasn't worked out. First and 10. That one's going to float up in the air. That one's going to be picked off. And, oh, man, nobody's going to be able to get him. And with his speed, I don't think Stafford's going to be able to get him. And that one's going to be a pick six. Not what you want at all. As that one, yeah, picked off. Seattle takes it back for the touchdown. As Stafford throws the pick. And it's a 17-7 ball game. As on first and 10, Stafford over the middle. Findy Dillard for the catch. Using a little bit of that speed. Picking up 19 yards. He's up to the 44-yard line. And I still don't understand why Jacksonville didn't even use this guy. I just don't understand at all what happened there. For a first-round pick, you just don't go to him at all? I don't know. Maybe just with DJ Chark, they had D.D. Westbrook, LaVisca Chanel. Maybe they just didn't utilize. I don't know. Like, he didn't see the field at all. He had zero catches. Both years he was with them, and they just straight released him. Total confusion on that one. First and 10 to the outside. Waddle for the catch. I think that's his first catch in this ball game after a pretty impressive first game. Second and 10. Here comes the blitz. Stafford going up top. Dillard, and he comes down with the grab. And the touchdown. That might seal his job for the number three receiver. No doubt about it. Showing the skill there. Because we got Kirkpatrick, you know, he can go up and we've seen him go up and get it. And even though he's only a 5'10 receiver, we've seen him go up and get it. We know Claiborne's only 5'9. So we kind of need that big body receiver. You know, Higgins gone. And that's why we wanted to try out Dillard for a cheaper price. And we're seeing it now as that's good pursuit by Felton, the linebacker, coming through. But yeah, Dillard, I think with that catch, he's your number three receiver. I'm saying it right now. Third and four. Blitz up the middle. And that is a Randall Morgan. I think Juan Blackburn was there as well. And that is a nice job by the defense. So let's bring back Jalen Hurts, see what he can do on another drive. And here's Koran Ali with the carry, only picking up around four yards and brings up a third down. As Hurts in the pocket, firing over the middle. That's going to be caught. And that's Terrell Bonds with the catch. He's up to the 40-yard line. Not sure if he's going to be able to make this team, but, you know, get some action out there. You know, show yourself to other teams. First and 10, up the middle, Melvin Gordon. I think he's going to be your number two back right behind uh, Edwards. You know, it was kind of see if anybody else was going to step up. But right now, I like what I see from the veteran uh, running back. First and ten. Oh, that's a dangerous throw. Oh, man. That's going to be picked off looking for Ja Roby. Yeah. Just, just a tough throw. And a little bit of later decision. And that's going to be picked off. As here comes McLean again. And he breaks off the tackle. Breaks another tackle. Somebody finally bring him down. It looks like the Seattle Seahawks have found themselves a gem with their second round running back. McLean with the carry again. Breaks through, makes a juke move, and he's gone for the touchdown. This guy is just tearing our defense up. Man. Yeah, Seattle. I think we might. I have to take a look at the schedule. I think Seattle is on the schedule in the regular season, so we might see this guy again. As it's a 24-14 ball game here in the third quarter as Hertz makes the reception, uh, the, the throw there to Waddle with the catch. Second down and 10. Watch out, pressure coming. And the former Dolphin, Zach Seiler, comes through for the sack. And in a little bit, I guess, revenge here in the preseason. As in fourth and 10, going up to Alex Keys, but he can't hang on to the ball. It's going to fall incomplete. That was a nice throw from Hertz. Receiver just can't hang on to it. And now the question is, can we stop McLean? McLean with the carry, and he breaks off another tackle. Man, this guy is just breaking tackles left and right, and it takes two or three guys to bring him down. He has a 130 on 11 carries, two touchdowns, just running through our defense. Is now on a third and two. Taylor coming around, makes the stop. 
Nice job showing some speed from her linebackers. That is the one thing I saw, kind of didn't realize, is that our linebacker, we need more coverage linebackers. Um, a lot of our linebackers are more pass rush specialists or your, you know, traditional, you know, a two down back, you know, two down linebacker. We need more guys that are like third down linebackers. That is for sure. Guys that we can bring out trust just in case somebody goes down. Same thing. You know, always want that depth. You want guys there. And that's something we might have to think about in the offseason draft wise for sure. First and 10 Stafford underneath finds Alex keys for another catch. And let's see what this flag is. It's going to be a roughing the passer. So she's trying to get down there, make this still a competitive ball game, and get in the end zone. So second down and one from the two. Stafford making a few adjustments, rolling out, looking, looking, and that is Jeremiah B Bonds. There's Bonds for the touchdown. Trying to make a name for himself, trying to, you know, make this team, but I don't think he definitely will. I think he's got either a release or a practice squad written all over him, but at least he's making a name for himself for other teams. As on a first and ten, four minutes left in the ball game, trying to get the game winning touchdown, and Stafford throws the pick six, and that'll pretty much end this preseason for us with another loss. So now we have some decisions to make. A staff of 14 to 25 throws four picks, two pick sixes. Hurts 10 to 16. And really, I would say what I saw from Hurts in that first drive, really for me, was probably it. And I was just, you know, unless Stafford really showed me something, uh, that pretty much did it for me. Diller with a great touchdown reception. Bonds with the catch. Joe Waddle once again, 689. So I think the undrafted rookie receiver has just made this team. Miles, Blackburn, Taylor, the rookie, uh, the, the youngsters at defensive tackle and DN really stepping up. And here's your final preseason stats. So Hurts, four touchdowns, three picks, 66 completion percentage. Staff for two touchdowns, five picks, 50 uh, percent, you know, completion percentage right there. So for me, it's pretty easy. Uh, what we're going to do. Melvin Gordon averaged about 3.8 a carry. Covington only got four carries. Same with Corn Ali. They just never had enough time. It was just tough. But Joe Watt, 11 catches, 173. Dillard had two touchdowns. Roby, not too bad. Eight catches for 101. You know, it's just going to be, you're just going to start running out of spots. I think that's the thing with some of these guys. You're just going to run out of room, especially when somebody like Waddle impresses and he's going to make the team. Uh, especially, yeah, when those undrafted guys step up, I love it, and they make the teams. It's just, you know, now it's like a position maybe you didn't think about. <laughs> a guy was going to be there. They are. And there you go. Defensively, I liked what I saw from uh, Blackburn and the, some of the draft picks. That was cool to see. Marion Felton looked good, showing that speed as linebacker. So that was good to see. Yeah, Blackburn, two and a half sacks. Uh, Nathan Martin steps up the sack leader last year with two here in this preseason. And yeah, Taylor, not bad. Ray Bryant didn't get a whole lot of time, but at least got a sack. So that is good to see. Deflection wise, Perryman, that, you know, the rookie, he's 6'3. I like the tall, you know, tall corner. We can work on him. You know, he can be kind of a dime back and kind of get in there every once in a while. And Marcus Williams was the only force fumble. So this is what we're going to do. Stafford, unfortunately, I think we're going to release him. We gave him a shot. You know, it was like, you know, trying to be a career vi revival backup quarterback. We're going to release him. Hertz is going to be the backup quarterback. So, Ali, Covington, we're going to move them to the practice squad. Ja Roby, just, I would love to kind of keep him. But we're going to release him. He can't be practice squad. Jeremiah Bond, same thing. We're going to have to straight release him. So, this is what we're going with. Joe Waddle makes the team. We got Garvin. Dillard, Claiborne, and Kirkpatrick. We got a young, young receiving core, that is for sure. Gesicki, Gronk, Keys, that's the tight end. Offensive line, Lions, Ringer, Elkin Jenkins, uh, Bredersen, Gibbs, uh, Bloom, Jackson, Wright. So all this is the same, Matthew, Morgan, Moses. And we got Vince Haynes. Uh, Matt Osborne, I think he might be a practice squad eligible. He is. So I think we move him to the practice squad I think that works out in our favor. Ray Bryant will make the team. Rod Street obviously moved to end. We got Conley. Defensive tackle, Payne, Morgan, Blackburn, and Sean Miles. I think we moved to the practice squad as well. I think that'll work out. Becton, Nathan Martin, uh, Devon Taylor, Bryce Hardison. 
So maybe Hardison uh, with the hidden development. Another guy we signed. We'll move him to the practice squad. I think Taylor maybe... Do we keep Taylor on this roster? Yeah, I think we'll keep him. Simmons, Canty, Felton, maybe not. I don't know. Let's go back here. I think we'll just straight release him. Because you have... Yeah, Hayward, you got Simmons, Canty, Felton. Looked good enough to make the team. Junior Bates... I think we could just straight release Junior Bates. We don't need him on the team at all. Cornerback. We got Jones, Igbenogany, Reed, Buckhalter, Stinson, and Perryman. Uh, maybe Stinson was the free agent pickup. He was a star development. He is in his third year. Maybe move him to the practice squad. I'd rather get Perryman some action and keep Buckhalter on the team. Williams, Adderley, Cloud, Jones, and then obviously Sanders and Hawk is your kicker. So there's your roster going forward. Week number one, you see we take on the Indianapolis Colts. As for the goal decision, obviously make the playoffs, no doubt about it, for sure. But we start off with the Colts. They're a very good team. They got number three draft pick quarterback. We'll see him. And look at the schedule. Bills at Patriots, short week Thursday night. And then back home for the Ravens. Then go back to Buffalo. And then take on Seattle on a Monday night game before our bye week. And then we have a four-game road strip after that at Texans, at Chiefs, at Titans, and at Jets. Man, this, this first, you know, this is a pretty crazy schedule for sure. No doubt about it, man. The end, it kind of gets a little better. But still, there's two division games for the Jets and Patriots in weeks 16, 15 and 16. But still, this schedule, this fir these first like 10 weeks... We definitely got a hard schedule for sure, and this is going to really test us, and we're going to see if this team is good enough to repeat as a Super Bowl champion because we got some tough, tough games. That is for sure. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. I appreciate it. If you could please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.